My name is Hasmi Burushian. I'm a senior at UCLA. I'm studying political science. I'm currently an outreach coordinator for the Armenian National Committee of America Glendale chapter, so it's right here local. I also am uh, very active with the Armenian Youth Federation. Um, we have chapters all around the um, state, and uh, I'm really active on the local and central level. I am the uh, I'm part of the central executive of the Armenian Youth Federation, so we oversee the entire organization of the Western region. ANCA works endlessly for the recognition, especially on the congressional level. I think this, this struggle didn't start last year. It, it was literally a decade's worth of work on the ground, in the House, on the Senate floor. And I think seeing the Senate resolution and especially the House resolution was kind of a sense of relief for the community because the community has been struggling for years. Ever since we've got, uh, immigrated into this country, it's always been trying to prove yourself, trying to um, say, hey, this is my experience, but obviously there's that other side that says, that invalidates your experience. I think that's exhausting and I think that it reignites the trauma that we go through because essentially we're reliving it every time we're explaining ourselves. We're going through that experience every time we're talking to a politician like, hey, this is what happened to my family. Um, I think uh, seeing that resolution on the House and Senate floor was remarkable and I think our community needed it, but the fight is definitely not over because we still experience denialism from the oppressor state, Turkey, and we still need to fight for restitutions and reparations, and we're not gonna give up. I know the ANCA won't give up. It's definitely like, like power to the ANCA and the thousands of volunteers that literally invested themselves in this um, work and seeing that resolution, those resolutions pass was was just amazing and just a sense of like, wow, we got this done. It was really a celebration, but we also did recognize that the work is not over and that the struggle will continue and the ANCA won't stop.